Hey everyone, it is snowing heavily today and we need something to warm up our bones. So I thought of making this one pot dish with rice, lentils and vegetables. Today's recipe is a delicious comfort food from India, khichri or khichuri as we call in Bengali. For making khichuri we need rice. I like using short grain rice as they cook quickly. You can even use basmati rice, but I think it is such an insult to the long-grained basmati to be used in a porridge recipe. You will understand what I mean at the end of this video. Wash the rice very well till the water runs clear. Since I am using short-grained rice, it doesn't need to be soaked in water. But if you are using basmati rice, then please soak it for 30 minutes before cooking. Drain the water and keep it aside. Next coming to the lentils, I love using split yellow lentils known as moong dal. Now let me clear some of your doubts. Moong beans when whole look green like this, but when these tiny cylindrical green beans are hulled and split, they yield these gorgeous golden yellow colored beans, which are commonly called as moong dal in India. Okay, so we need to dry roast them to make them more aromatic. Now you must be thinking, can I use red lentils? Absolutely you can. In that case, you do not have to dry roast them like I am doing here. But guys, I am requesting you to please try these lentils. They are very aromatic and flavorful and cook faster than red lentils. Believe me, you are going to love it. You will definitely get these online or at any Asian or Indian grocery store. Do not let them turn too brown as in doing so they will get hard and won't turn tender while cooking. So if you look up close, you will see some of them have got this very light brown color on them. This is exactly what we are looking for. And at this point, switch off your stove and immediately give them a rinse with cold tap water. Do not wash them too much as in that way much of its flavor will be washed away. Pot on high heat. Add about 7 cups of water. Cover and let it come up to a rolling boil. Add the lentils once the water starts to boil. Give a stir so that they do not clump up and then partially cover your pot so that the lentils do not boil over and increase your work. Let's now make a spice paste. In a bowl, add about a tablespoon of grated ginger, ground turmeric, red chili powder and ground cumin. Add a few tablespoons of water, mix and your spice paste is ready. Now let's move on to the vegetables. Heat another pot on medium high heat. Oil. Being a person from West Bengal, I love using mustard oil for this recipe, but you can use any oil according to your preference. I will be using cauliflower that I had cut into large chunky florets. The reason is so that they do not disappear at the end of cooking. Gently add them to the oil. Sprinkle a little bit of ground turmeric and stir them till they turn golden brown. Cover them to prevent the oil from splattering on you. Hold the lid like a shield and give them a stir frequently. Take them out once they get golden brown. They are nowhere near to getting tender at this point, but this initial browning will prevent them from breaking when cooked along with the lentils and rice. Next comes potatoes. Keep these big and chunky as well. You can even use carrots and green beans but today I wanted to stick to the original recipe of Bengal. Take them out once they turn golden brown. To that same oil I will be adding some whole spices. Dried bay leaves, a dried red chilli to get that smoky flavour. Then I need cumin seeds. Stir and let them splutter to release their flavour. You always need to let the seeds splutter on low heat before adding any other ingredients. Next comes the spice paste. Stir on low heat for a few seconds.
then comes tomato paste. Please add fresh tomatoes if they are in season at your place. I added a little bit of oil as things were looking too dry. Add the rice and stir very well on medium low heat till all the grains of rice get a little bit of that spice hug. Switch off the heat and let's move on to the lentils now. The lentils have already started breaking down. Add all the rice. Next the potatoes dive in. Add salt. Cover it on low heat for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes add the cauliflower. Mix and cover again. From time to time uncover and remember to run your spoon scraping the bottom of the pan to make sure nothing is sticking because things do have this tendency of settling at the bottom of the pan. I added a little splash of hot water as things were starting to look a bit dry and the rice also needs some water to become tender. Always keep some hot water handy and add it if necessary. Ok, the potatoes have become tender, the rice has become soft and the lentils have disappeared. I mean, can you make out where the lentils are? This is just the way you want everything to look like and it should be a bit runny as it is going to thicken up more later. At this point, I added frozen green peas. If you are using fresh ones, then please add them along with the cauliflower or any time in between the cooking process. And being a person from West Bengal, I love to add a little bit of sweetness to everything, but this is optional. Cover it for 2 more minutes. Coming to the last addition of goodness to the recipe, heat a pan over low heat and then ghee. This is my homemade ghee. I have given a link to that recipe in the description box in case you are interested. Ghee is totally optional. You can use oil or even butter. Once the ghee melts, add 2 whole red chilies. Then switch off your stove or lift up the pan from the heat and add garam masala powder. Please do this off heat or else the garam masala will burn. And then add this goodness over your khichuri. After that, this absolute deliciousness is all yours. Carbohydrate, protein, vitamins all together in that one pot. And a bowl of this goodness is enough to stop me from complaining about the cold snowy weather. Serve this with any pakora or papadams. Bye bye.